Hey guys, Off The Line Motorsports here, <clears throat> working on a turbo manifold for a rear wheel drive VR6. He is putting it in, I believe, like a B5 S4 Audi. Um, I believe that's what it's going in. Don't quote me on that, but... Um, so this is going to be a manifold that runs off of the stock 12 l VR6 exhaust manifolds. I made this little guy, I don't know how well you can see it. This is a jig to cut um, merge collector pipes on a horizontal saw. So this one I just printed off with my 3D printer real quick. Uh, it's at a 15 degree angle for inch and a half schedule 10 um, 304L pipe. And it seemed to work pretty well. Um, so, you know, cut two pieces. So they're gonna sit like that. That's gonna be the merge collector. Um, there's gonna be a uh, what is it? I think it's a 40 millimeter wastegate um, V-band that's coming off the one side of it. So that's that. This I printed on my 3D printer as well. It is a short and large radius cutting jig for a bandsaw again. Basically, you're going to be able to take a pipe into it, you're going to be able to put a pipe into it. It works better if you have a spare for the other side, just so it's not all kitty wampus. And take it to the saw and cut it. Um, you can do it either way. It's all the way, short way. Um, the new one's going to have um, hatch marks on it every five degrees, so you can repeatedly make a, say, a 35 degree cut. Um, over and over and over again and uh, just kind of helps with consistency and uh, making the manifold look good and work good and yeah so that's what I got there in the car. Um, I am welding up a turbo manifold for a guy. Uh, I think it's a B5 S4, not 100% sure. It's a B5 chassis uh, with the VR6. He's looking for a longitudinal setup just like this. It's going to be mated to a Quattro tranny, I believe. He just wants me to kind of base it off of my car because uh, he doesn't have his car ready. I know it's not super ideal, but it is what it is. So 
Um, I've got an old manifold that I made a while back, uh, last winter actually, first one I ever made. Um, never used it, just kind of using it for mock-up right here just to see what we're dealing with. Um, I'll show you all that.
I am I'm finally finished up with this manifold I've been building for this guy with a B5 S4 VR6 uh, he's gonna be our six swap it so this is the manifold that I built not too fancy it's not perfect but it's definitely a good start um, to be quite honest, I'm still not getting 100% penetration for some reason. I definitely need to practice more. But, I mean, overall, I feel like it's a fairly decent product. Uh, this just goes right onto the stock manifolds like you guys seen earlier in the video. Um, pretty straightforward little turbo setup. Uh, they can hold quite a bit of power, uh, these manifolds, with this style manifold. Yeah, so kind of give you some close-ups uh, some of the better welds some of the not so great welds um, yeah down in the merge collector I don't know how well you can see but I'm not perfect <laughs> um, I wish I was wish I was better at making manifolds, but I will be someday, and, uh, yeah, so, this is pretty much it, um, this is the final product, dude's gonna pick it up in the morning, uh, matched everything out, uh, being a T3 flange, um, I'm using inch and a half pipe, um, just because it matches the outlet diameter of the exhaust manifolds the stock exhaust manifolds um that's really the only reason why i did it um i should have jumped up to probably inch and three quarter because i had to fill in quite a bit on these corners on this t3 flange uh, you can't really see it too much from the outside but you can definitely see the radius of the pipe on the inside and I kind of had to fill that in from the outside and uh, grind it away to help it flow a little better but yeah so that's it that's number one for OTL Motorsports I did one last winter um, that wasn't as good actually I have it right here here where's it at This one I have doesn't have a wastegate, although I could probably put one on it now. Just haven't thought about it. But <laughs> this is the first one I ever did. Um, yeah, penetration was still pretty terrible on this one. Um, I mean, obviously this was the first one I did. My welds look a little more consistent on this one, better color. Um, better coverage but yeah you can see the difference between the two this one's been sitting around for like I said a year or so but you can tell my merge collector isn't very good there I cut uh, I made the merge collector and everything myself so yeah that's pretty much it um, guys gonna pick it up tomorrow I hope he's happy God, I hope he's happy, but I'm not charging him all that much to do it. And he saw this other manifold too to compare it with. So, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I'll catch you next time. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, all your support helps, uh, especially with my other stuff, with my E30 stuff. Um, I'll be building another manifold for that. It'll be a quick little video since I've already got this video um, going through this one. But yeah, so thanks. Uh, love your support. Appreciate it, guys. See ya.